In this question, we're told using the binomial theorem, write down and simplify the first four terms in the expansion of 1 minus x over 2 to the power of 8 in ascending powers of x. So in order to answer this question, we're going to use the form of the binomial expansion 1 plus x to the n equals 1 plus nx plus n, n minus 1 over 2 factorial, x squared, and so on. So with our expansion, we have 1 minus x over 2 to the power of 8. So n is 8 and x is minus x over 2. Remember that the negative is important here. So I get 1 plus n, which is 8, times x, which is actually minus x over 2, plus n, which is 8, n minus 1, which is 7, over 2 factorial, so 1 times 2, minus x over 2, all squared plus n, which is 8, times n minus 1, which is 7, n minus 2, which is 6, all over 3 factorial, so 1 times 2 times 3, multiplied by minus x over 2, all cubed, it's dot, dot, dot. So now simplify, I can simplify the first terms completely, so I get 1, 8 times minus x over 2 gives me minus 4, x. For the next two terms I have to simplify the fraction that's the coefficient first and then the term to the power second. So cancelling a 2 with the numerator and denominator, I get 4 times 7 which is 28. Minus x squared is just x squared and 2 squared is 4. Plus I can cancel the de complete denominator 1 times 2 times 3 with 6 so we get left with 8 times 7, which is 56, minus x cubed is minus x, all cubed, and then 2 cubed is 8, plus dot, 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 dot. So then finally, tidying up those final two terms, 1 minus 4x, we get 28 divided by 4 is 7, so plus 7x squared. Next term will be negative, and so 56 divided by 8 is also 7, and that's x cubed Let's dot 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 and that is our expansion completed. In part b we're told the first two terms in the expansion of 2 plus a x to the power of n in ascending powers of x are 32 and minus 240 respectively. Find the values, find the value of n and the value of a. So in this term, I'm still going to use 1 plus x to the n version. In order to do that, I need to write 2 plus a x to the n as 2 to the power of n, 1 plus a over 2 x. So in this case, what's going to happen when I expand this is I get 2 to the n that's outside the expansion, and then I can just expand this bracket. So I get 1 plus n times x, which is a over 2 to the power at to the power of 1, plus dot 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 dot. So my first term then is 2n, 2 to the power of n times 1, and that's equal to 32. Now, 2 to the n times 1 is just 2 to the n, so it's a bit trivial doing that, but just to, uh, enforcing the idea that this is 2 to the n times that first term. So what I know is 2 to the 5 is, power, is equal to 32, so then n must be equal to 5. For my second term, I get 2 to the n times n times a over 2 times x, so we get 2 to the n times a n over 2 times x. And this is equal to minus 240 x. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to focus on the coefficients. So first of all, tidy up 2 to the power of n divided by 2 is going to give me 2 to the power of n minus 1. And so we just get times a n, and this is equal to minus 240 now if I put in n is equal to 5, I get 2 to the power of 4 times by 
a times by 5 is equal to minus 240. So 2 to the power 4 is 16, times 5 is 80. So 80a is equal to minus 240. And if I divide by 80, we get the answer that a is equal to minus 3. OK then, well let's have a look to see how this is marked. When it comes to the expansion, the first expansion, there is a B1 standalone mark for each term that you have correctly got, including the signs. So the signs must be in front, must be correct as well. In part B, we've got uh, one standalone mark if you've got the first term is 2 to the power of n only. You get a standalone mark if you, that then leads to n is equal to 5. We get a second standalone mark for identifying what the second term is, so in this form here. And then your fourth and final standalone mark is for finding that a equals minus 3. Okay, well I hope the solution made sense and that you're able to understand how to mark it.